we have marked the middle point here around it the maxillary arch the clinical situation is that there is a do in 14 and we have to see that there is no rubber dam stretch on the step portion which comes during the cavity preparation so what we do is we go directly on 15 and make a punch right this is how made a punch then we make another punch for 14 there you are in addition with the most smallest punch we make additional space for the step by putting two or three small holes on it it looks something like this now we take the rub dam clamp and place it on the five and hold tight from the left hand and then press it like this and see that the other hole is right in the center of the horizontal bar then we turn it like this now we take the rubber dam clamp and put the prongs into the eyes stretch it a little and it's ready to be taken into the mouth this and after putting it we release the clamp from here we reverse it so that the right side comes on the right side and the left on the left side just hold and bring the stretch of the rubber on the between the interdental space then we stretch it over it similarly on the palatal side we see the space and then stretch it over it then is the application of rubber dam frame it is held below the rubber dam parallel to the upper lip and the stretch of rubber dam that falls on the most spirer hooks we hook it bilaterally similarly we hook it on the other side then the rest and we fold it the extra portion like this then we take the floss and take the st the stretch inside similarly we take the rubber dam inside we even can take once more i do it again for you like this like this and and push like this and it's all set start now with this method you can observe that there is no stretch of rubber dam on the step portion 
and the whole took is visible. Do the temporary filling. We remove this first, right? Then uh, we have to cut the stretch of the rubber dam that extends between the interdental space, like this. Sorry. So that the temporary filling doesn't come out. Now we do the. Temporary filling. Now after doing the temporary filling, we put the prongs into it and expand it, and here it comes out. You can see that the temporary filling stays in position.